What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna show you all how to upgrade the firmware in your Vox Lab Aquila. So this gave me a little bit of an issue um, for about 10 minutes. It wasn't reading the SD card. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I fixed that issue. It's super simple. It's just something that you're gonna overlook. Um, I really didn't think I needed it, but apparently you do. So here we go. All right guys, so I've been trying to update the firmware on this Vox Lab for about 10 minutes now and I finally figured it out. And this might help some people out. So I just went to 1.2.4 with the G32 chip. So not the good chip that everybody wants, the H chip or even the N chip. But what you have to do is, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and get to the computer and I'll show you. Okay, guys. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Vox Labs website, voxlab3dp.com. Go to firmware and find the chip that you have. So I have the G32 and I want the new firmware update. Click the download on the right hand side and then go to your go to your uh, downloads page, copy it, go to your SD card. This is how it's gotta be set up. And I'll get to that in just a second, but I'm gonna do this real time for y'all. So I'm gonna delete these, I'm gonna right click, paste. Now you need WinRAR or something else to extract these. I'm just gonna use 7-Zip. So extract both of the, extract that. Hold on, baby. Hold on, I'll play with you in just one second. Let me finish this video, baby. So we're gonna click on the Aquila G32. We're gonna copy the firmware file. Go back to your SD, right click, folder, new, name it firmware. Go ahead and drop that in. Go back here, extract the Dwin set. Copy that folder, paste it, delete, and you think you're good to go. Well, this is the problem I was having. So I'm gonna cut this, go to my pictures, drop this off, and I'm gonna go back and I'll tell you why. So now this is number one. Go back to my pictures. Here's that file firmware, I'm gonna copy it and paste, and there's easier ways to do it. But the main thing is you gotta have the Dwin set up top and the firmware on bottom. That's where I was having an issue because the Dwin set was at the bottom. Literally, it would not update just because of that little issue. And if you have the Dwin set out of there, it won't update either. Now, I don't know about other chips, but for the G32 at least, it won't update. So hopefully this helped y'all out. I know it was kind of a pain for 10 minutes for me to figure out but um, I know some people will struggle with it even worse. And some people might get it right away. Thanks for watching.